But we're going to move on to a team that could possibly need a quarterback for the first four, the first, the first four weeks mm-hmm. of the NFL season, the New England Patriots. And Tom Brady, his suspension is back. A U.S. appeals court has said, you know what? You are suspended for four games. And the one thing before we get into how this affects the Patriots, what do they do? I'm looking at a CBSSports.com article, and in it it says that the owners aren't happy. Two of the NFL owners talked to Jason Cole of Bleacher Report and told them that the four-game suspension for Brady is too harsh. Are you guys on the side of the NFL? Mark, we'll start with you. Side of the NFL, side of the owners. Should Brady be suspended? Uh, You know, I, I think that coming off of the actual scandal... I, I was like, yeah, okay, there needs there should be something. But at the same time, I always said there was no smoking gun. There was no definitive proof that Tom Brady actually did something. Because he smashed his phone. He gave it the Aaron Hernandez treatment. Yeah, exactly. There was no actual evidence that something had happened. And I don't know if they have somehow found some evidence somewhere what has happened. I stopped paying attention because I stopped caring about this story <laughs> that much. Um, I was about ready for it to be over. But at this at this point, I don't even care anymore. Roger Goodell's already having some of his disciplinary powers taken away. Mm-hmm. The Patriots need to say, fine, we'll just take it. Just stop trying this because what what's going to happen if it gets taken away again? Another year goes by and we have to see if we're going to possibly have yet another four-game suspension for Tom Brady. Just take the damn suspension. Use it as an opportunity to see what you have in Jimmy Garoppolo because you got two more years left of him. you got to see if you want to keep him around. If you want to, maybe it's three more years because Ricky's no, telling me it's three. No, I was going to say there's three options that he oh, can okay. do. He can either fight it and go for a petition for a rehearing. He can accept the damn suspension. Or option three, which is kind of outside, he can look for a settlement between himself and the NFL. I just think just take something. I mean, you can try and get like maybe two or three games out of it instead. But if I'm the Patriots organization, I'm saying, great. We've only got about two years left of Jimmy Garoppolo's contract, and then we have to decide, are we going to let him walk? Yeah, but they got 20 years of Tom Brady. Yeah, exactly. Play until he's 60. Eventually, Tom Brady is going to not be there. So what's going to happen next? And that eventually is going to probably come up pretty quickly. Um, this is the best time to see what you've got, at least for trade bait. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is so stupid. This is dumb. Roger Goodell sucks. It's okay for him to walk around and praise himself as the high, almighty power, but he sucks. He's horrible. And for him to try and do this and and coming out that I yes I'm very happy with the ruling well of course you are the guy is a scum and the fact that he stands up there and tries to proclaim how we need integrity in the league he is far from integrity in the league and uh, I I don't think that Roger Goodell can stand up there and give out a suspension for something that you don't know if he did anything and if he did he deflated a fucking football no one cares. You beat the Colts, and the Colts still 45 only, to 10. Yeah, they only scored one touchdown. Who cares? Who flippin' cares? If this is the type of story that's going to leak in, you know, leak in, find its way in the NFL, this has no... It should not be in the NFL. It should not be a story. It should not be a scandal. It should not be anything. I don't know why someone looked into this because it's so stupid it's so dumb, and the fact that we're still talking about it a year later, and that it's an issue, why would you even continue? If I'm Roger Goodell and I'm the NFL, I just eat it. Mm-hmm. I lost. Tom Brady won. Tom Brady will always win because he's Tom Brady. He's the GOAT. He is. And the fact that Roger Goodell continued to fight and send this up to another court, a higher court, so that he could win, he's a little bitch. What Roger Goodell needs to do, he needs to get on the phone, he needs to call an ex-NBA commissioner in the name of David Stern, and he needs to just ask him, can you give me any advice on how to win? How to win against the players? Because all I can think about is, I think of the two differences. Like, Goodell, whatever he does, he's hated for it. David Stern... 
he was able to win. The thing I think of with NBA side is the Chris Paul trade. He was supposed to go to L.A. Stern vetoed it so that Chris Paul could go to the Clippers and make the Clippers what they are today and not make L.A. the best team again in Los Angeles. Goodell just needs to, like you said, just eat it. Or now Tom Brady on his side, you know what? Just eat it. No. Sit the four games. No. Because no. the way I see it, this is how it's going to play out. We're not going to get it reduced. He's going to miss the four games. If you're a Patriot fan, don't fucking complain about it. Because like Mark said, you get to see what you have in this kid called Jimmy Garoppolo, as some of them call him. I know his name's really Garoppolo, but I like saying Garoppolo. You get to see what you got in this kid. It's four games. Yeah, you play the Cardinals. You might lose that one. Yeah, you may lose to the Texans, but guess what? Even if you go 2-2 two and two and beat the Dolphins and the Bills at home, you get to come back week 5. Tom Brady, a pissed-off Tom Brady, gets to come back and shit all over the Browns. My, my whole thing Literally. is— Literally. My, my whole thing is is that it, it, this is about—this is more about not a suspension. I, it, the suspension doesn't matter it's to me. It's two egos at it's, this it's, point. But it's about principle. You know, it's about the principle of the matter, and it's the fact that they don't have any real evidence around Tom Brady to say, yes, Tom Brady was involved in this. He physically uh, deflated the football himself in a back room with these two other assistants, and, you know, he di- they don't have that. They don't have him on film. They don't have I'm gonna quotes. Throw, they don't have anything I'm like gonna that. I'm going to throw out an analogy, and this is what I feel fits this to a T. Goodell's the principal. Tom Brady's the most popular kid in school. Goodell wants to nail the most popular kid in school for something. Just to, just to nail him. Like, you know what? I want to knock you down a peg. And for, for the longest time, he hasn't been able to. Last season, tried to. Oh, nope. Your ban is gone. I'm playing week one. Not a not a boo-boo. Stick your head in doo-doo. To quote Daniel Tosh. And now Goodell is still trying to get this kid. And I say, kid, Tom Brady, the popular kid in school. Well, let me tell you, though, is that the popular kid in school will always be loved, while that principal will always be hated. Well, yeah, No matter is. what happens, that's how it always mm-hmm. will be. And you're talking about he should call David Stern. He should just call Adam Silver. Adam Silver is very much loved by uh, everyone well, in the I NBA. Was, I was using the analogy of Goodell doesn't want to be liked. Goodell doesn't care if he's liked. Oh no! No, I think, he enjoys I think the Roger, booze. I think I, I think Roger Goodell very he much enjoys getting boot, like you said, yeah. booed at the draft. No, I think it. I think he very much wants to be liked, but knows he never will. I just think for for this part of the conversation, I think it's a good thing for the Patriots. They start slow nearly every season. Mm-hmm. Just give it an opportunity to see what Jimmy Garoppolo is going to be, because otherwise you start you know you start getting trade offers, or at the very least he's going to be the future. You don't have a future right now, and you're not going to draft one with, you know, yes, you have a ton of picks, but they're all late. Sean Anderson will kill me if I do not throw this out, but he's been telling me all day today that the Patriots need to go out and in the sixth. I'm going to be honest. The reason why he's saying the sixth round is because this kid played at Michigan this past year Mm -hmm. and wore the number 10. That's what Tom Brady wore when he was at Michigan, but... Jake Rudock. He wants them to go get Jake from Michigan in the sixth round to come in. I don't even think they need that. If they want to grab a quarterback to be behind Garoppolo while Brady is suspended, if the suspension holds, because I thought it was going to hold last year and it didn't. If I was the Patriots, I wouldn't even draft a quarterback because you have Garoppolo who's young. I would just go out there and, oh, Brian Hoyer? You fit our system. You used yeah, to be welcome here. Back. Just welcome back. You're the third stringer. He. I don't think Brian Hoyer wants to be a third stringer. Uh, eventually, but if you give get him, close enough, he's if you give take him the opportunity, eh, there's a few job offers out there. Really starting you, jobs, but you he's got just, the opportunity to possibly let, start. You could just let Jamarcus Russell be the third stringer he's for free. free. I, I think you just. <laughs> I think you just bring Brian Hoyer in for week three. Start him so he can play against the Texans. Yeah, <laughs> is it week three? Is that I think, I think, the I think they're, they're week three. Yeah. If only he could play week five against the Browns. 
<laughs> That'd be fun too. <laughs> I haven't played week three. I haven't played week five. Yeah, even though it. Tom Brady's back, Tom Brady's gonna sit on the Tom bench. Brady, but, Hoyer's gonna play this game. But Tom game. Brady would. He, he's not like Peyton Manning. Tom Brady, if you're up by seventy, which no, they might be, no. He, Tom Brady will sit in the fourth. No, Tom Brady will say this is my job. Tom Brady. He knows what it's like to get your job taken from <laughs> you. He took someone's job. Mr. Steal your job. That's Tom He's Brady. never going to let anybody come in there and take that. He's going to never let anyone literally, Brady there is there Literally, there is a quote from Tom Brady where they asked him before, even in practice, do you let the backup come in? No. How many reps does the backup get? He none. said zero. Yeah. He gets none. They're my reps. I'm the starter. See, Gotta love that, him. That's the thing. If he's suspended this offseason... Garoppolo's going to have no. to get those reps. If I remember right, you can but correct me if I'm wrong down get, below. I think Belichick no, should correct, say, no, you're wrong. People, correct fit. me if I'm wrong in the comment section, but I'm pretty sure last offseason he no, was still taking the reps. I know. I'm just saying Belichick needs to fucking man up and say, Tom, you're suspended. Sit down or take less reps. Put your Uggs back on. Put your Ugg. Play in your Uggs because you're suspended. And I just want to let everyone know that it's okay if he has Uggs because they do make Uggs for men. <laughs> I had to check that one year because um, mm-hmm. I was pretty sure they were only for, for women. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're apparently not. They're not. Um, so, uh, so Tommy Boy, yeah. That's right. good. He's, he's rocking them. No, and, I, and, it's, and it's completely okay for him to do I that. really think that this is actually a good thing for the Patriots. They have to see what Jimmy Garoppolo is going to be eventually. No, they do. This is a great time to do it. And I said the you know last year that the era of Jimmy Garoppolo, if he's the real deal, has to begin at some point. Mm-hmm. We saw it with Peyton Manning. With it was Brock Osweiler coming in, and for the future of the Broncos, they should have just let Brock Osweiler be the starting quarterback. Yes, you won a Super Bowl. I get it, but your team has fallen apart since. But Peyton Manning got to Elway it. He did. He did. And I, I called it when he first got to Denver. I said it was going to happen eventually. Just like every year it kept not happening. But eventually Tom Brady has to be done and a new quarterback has to come in. Do you want to be the Denver Broncos with no quarterback except for Mark Sanchez? And a lot of people think that Jimmy Garoppolo is going to be the quarterback of the future for the New England Patriots. I'm not one of those people. I don't think that Jimmy Garoppolo is going to be the quarterback of the future. He's just been a serviceable backup for the two times in his life when he's had a play. Well, I mean, the reason that is is because I said Tom Brady's going to play till he's 60, guys. Well, you don't have to overreact here. Tom Brady's going to be there forever. But see, here's the thing is that Tom Brady as long as he is there, he is playing. Does it not matter how well he's doing, how not well he's doing? He is going to play. Could be out there he, in a walker. He could literally be on the injury report as doubtful. That fucker is playing. Yeah, he's going to be know? out there in a walker or a wheelchair when he's older with the oxygen tank. That's how old he's going to be when playing. But but really, I don't. I mean, Garoppolo's there. He's been there for a while. But, but how about this? You know, Brady's going to be out the first four weeks. The Patriots trade for Sam Bradford. No. He plays those first four weeks, no. and then they just keep him on no. for when Brady's gone. No, you don't do that. Bradford gets but to it, learn from the best. They only have him for two years. Then he gets to go wherever he wants. Mm-hmm. Jimmy Garoppolo, you also only have for two years. Sam Bradford was the third worst quarterback in the league. I'm sure Jimmy <laughs> Garoppolo is how better than that. We need he was a, probably worse. Than we that. need a counter for how many times Mark has said third worst. Sam Bradford is the third he, worst quarterback. He just because wants people to know it's that incredible <laughs> that he is getting 17 million dollars a year and he was the third worst quarterback in all of the NFL and probably the CFL as well. 